Hi, this is Brandon from Tate Talk Tech. Back here again with another video. Do you have other Do you have other users you want to add to your Linux system? If you do, watch this video to the end. As today, I will be showing you how to create a user in Linux with one command. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Let's get into it. So, just a brief overview of users. Now, at at times, multiple users are going to need to use a system. That's just a fact of life. Creating multiple users allows multiple people to use the same system, you know, either individually or simultaneously without having to share the same set of credentials. It's also a great way to control access to resources. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but let me know if that's something you want covered in the future. Um, also, the location of users is going to be in the the Etsy. Uh, password file, which is P-A-S-S-W-D. And here we're using tail to go ahead and just show us the last 10 entries of the file because we don't want to see all of it because there's like 30 or 40 different accounts in there. Most of these are going to be system accounts, but we can see my user account right here. So cool. Right now, before we moving on to the actual command itself, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. A dislike if you don't like it. Lastly, let me know what you like, didn't like, or if you have any questions down in the comments below. So let's get into the command itself. The command that we're going to be covering today is user add. Now, user add itself, just by itself, will allow you to create a user and you'll you know you'll be able to do stuff with that user. Now, there's a couple of things that it's not going to do. It's and, and and keep in mind these will vary depending on the distribution that you're that you're using. So make sure to consult their documentation if you're unsure on any of these points. Now, the first thing that they don't always do is create a home directory for the user, which can be problematic. You know, when a new user goes, you know, to sign in their system and then they're, you know, they don't have a place to save, you know, files and stuff like that. You know, so and they can't access to they don't have access to any of the other folders on the system. So the other thing is is that by default, you know the the shell that the system uses is going to be is going to be different for each distribution. Most of them um, use bin shell, which is just a basic shell, which is just I'm just going to type it out here so you can see it bin shell, right? And that's the one that a lot of distributions will give to you um, give to new users by default if you don't specify. So that's one thing that I always like to make sure to specify. And we want to make sure that we're using instead of bin shell, we want to use bin bash. I'm going to cover that here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and keep moving here. Now, you can go ahead and update the defaults yourself uh, for this command because, um, again, it's, it, it, it differs based on the distribution, uh, but they can be changed in the Etsy default user add file. I'll just type that out here for you. The let's see, default user add file, as well as the Etsy log login dot defs file. Now, the first the first option that we're going to go ahead and tack on to user add is we're going to tack on tack m. Now, what tack m is going to do is it's going to create a home directory for the user in the slash home directory. So depending on your distribution, again, it may not be created. So if you want to, if you're not sure, go ahead and check the, um, go ahead and check the doc documentation for your distribution. I always add it, even if I, you know, unless I, you know, know for a fact that it's going to be created because I just don't keep track of all that. So again, consult the, consult the distribution documentation if you have questions around that. So the other Tack that we have is we're going to do tack s, which is going to allow us to specify the shell. So um, a shell is basically a program working behind the scenes of a command terminal. It's it's how the it's how you're going to interact through the terminal directly with the operating itself. Uh, in this example, and really the way that I also do it is going to be using bin bin bash. Uh, bin bash is one of the more popular. Uh, shells that are, you know, it's pretty common in, in, in a lot of modern Linux distributions. There are tons of other types of shells out there. So, you know, just do a quick Google search if you have any questions. Now, you might be asking, well, why do you do this? Uh, you know, the standard shell has a ton of limitations, doesn't have a lot of the quality of life stuff that you'll get with bin bash. And if you haven't used a shell primarily as your term, uh, you know, as your way of communicating with the oper operating system, uh, it's, it's like going back in time. It's going to be frustrating and annoying. So, Really, using bin bash will really just it'll 
help protect your sanity. So then what you're going to do is you're going to do bin and then bash. All right. And then you'll go ahead and put the user and username in there. User one. All right. Perfect. And then make sure you're also going to be running this command as sudo. All right. Let me put in the password. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and, and do the Etsy password file. And there we go. We've got the user there. Just do an ls home. And we've got a directory there. Now if we just did user add and then user two. Oops. All right. And if we go back here and do the ls home, we don't see it. But if we go up here back to the tail, we can see the user there and it will put this here because it's just putting that there as, as you know, because that would be the, the home directory if one was set, but it doesn't actually have a physical home directory. So um, I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, so that's how to add a user in Linux with a single command. For more information uh, on the command, consult the man page. If you haven't already, go and check out the other videos in this series. Uh, I thank you very much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.